so we actually have like um, five videos or six there about to actually do on the concept of power mile sizes okay and um, those videos actually like different different videos like let me say we we'll take the courses of power mile sizes we we'll talk about it take the risk factors we we'll take about it take the treatment we we'll talk about it do you understand just tiny tiny pieces like that so on that basis i just want to do a video that actually has like a summary of everything more of like introduction to the concept right so that students that want to just see informations at one place can be able to see it okay so we'll talk about myositis which is basically what the infections of the muscles or muscle infections okay so we'll talk about the characteristics we we'll talk about the causes we we'll talk about the symptoms we we'll talk about the diagnosis we we'll talk about the treatment we we'll talk about what the possible complications that's if the disease condition is there for over a long time, it could lead to some complications, right? So we'll talk about that too. So muscle infection, muscle infection, all right? Muscle infection, that's pyomyositis. Pyo means what? Pus. Myo means muscle cells. Itis means inflammation, okay? So you, uh, from the definition, you say that well, there's inflammation and pus in a muscle. Okay, so let's talk about it. We said that pyomyositis is a bacterial infection of the skeletal muscle and it's characterized by what? Muscle pain and swelling, fever, there's redness and warmth around the affected area. Okay, there's pus and abscess formation within the muscle. Okay, then talking about the causes of this disease condition, it could be due to what? Bacterial infections like what Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus pyogenes. Do you understand? Bacterial infection is one of like the most common cause. All right, but it could also have some other causes too. It could be due to trauma or injury to the muscle. It could be due to a weakened immune system. It could be due to poor blood circulation to that muscle. So the muscle was not having oxygen, so it actually died off. Okay, that's ischemia. Do you understand? It could be due to muscle, muscle fatigue or overuse of that muscle tissue, all right? The symptoms. In power myositis, there's severe muscle pain, there's swelling and tenderness, there's fever and chills, there's redness and warmth, there's pulse, okay? And this pulse could be confined in one place or there could be a discharge of the pulse, right? Uh, there's also difficulty in moving the affected limb. All right and talking about the diagnosis yeah it's more of like a clinical stuff right uh so you observe the patient is feeling pain the place is swollen up so it's something that you can just know okay so you could do physical examination but to confirm you can still do imaging studies like mri scan ct scan ultrasound just to confirm all right the laboratory tests like what blood cultures, muscle biopsy, and the rest could also fit in, all right? Then treatment, you give antibiotics, you drain the pus or abscess, you give treatment for pain management, that's all those analgesics and stuff. Then you allow the person to rest and not be moved. Yeah, the person can be moving around a, a little, okay, but not really much. Let's say they will not be doing all those exercise stuff and all. All right, it also includes physical therapy uh, complications like, okay, if the infection is left there or if the pyomyositis condition is left there for some time, uh, the infection can actually get into blood and the whole body is now reacting to it in a condition where we call sepsis, all right? There could be organ failure. It could lead to a total damage of that part of the body. So what you'd be forced to do an amputation, then reoccurrence is what? If you leave the infection there for a long time, uh, the person must be exposed to, the person may be exposed to what? It too much that if you treat it, it will do as if it is going, but it should still come back, all right? So that's reoccurrence, okay? And I think on that basis, that's the introductory lecture to pyomyositis, talking about the characteristics, causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and complications.